Hello, today we are going to implement a support, support vector regression model using a quite simple data set and it's going to be quite straightforward also to implement and to check the results. Uh, we did the same thing already for Python, we used the same data set but in Python we had much more, not much more but a little bit more trouble because of feature scaling. Using uh, our library uh, this R library that we are going to use, we don't need to perform f feature scaling, and that makes it much simpler to implement and to to run it. Okay, so let's start by importing the data set. Um, importing the data set, and to do that, we call we are going to call our data set data set, and we are going to read. A CSV, and I think it's salary something. No, position salary. Yes, same as we used in Python. And we are going to. Well, first we're going to check our data set. Is it read dot CSV? Yes. So this is our data set, here we have position, then we have a level, the level of that position, and here is our dependent variable salary. We are not going to use this column, we are only going to use the level column as our independent variable. And our objective here is to predict the salary of a employee which is in level 6.5 or in between region, region manager and partner. Okay, and to do that we are going to use our data set and they are going to only, as we are going to only use those two columns, we can do something like this, I think it's something like this. Yes, let's check. So we have only uh, these two columns, which are the columns that we want. Then we are going to... what do we have to do now? We don't need to do feature scaling. Maybe you can already fit our um, on model. So, fitting our model. For that we are going to use a library called... I think it's... oh, it's right there. E1071. Quite strange name and um, we are going to use it to create our support vector machine let's call it regress let's call it support no regress regressor and it's going to be a support support vector machine the parameters are So here we have the parameters, the first word is formula, the same as we had for the linear regression model. And the formula is given by the name of the column of the independent de de of the dependent variable. Then we put this tilde and all the other ones, which in this case is only level. So we can either type level here, like this or leave leave it like this so this grabs everything every every column except for the salary right okay uh, next next argument is going to be data which is our data set we are not splitting the data because we have a very small data set and for our objective which is to predict number 6.5 the level 6.5, we don't actually need to split our data and we wouldn't be able to split our data also, it's a very small data set yeah, so let's use our whole data the third parameter is going to be type, it's an important one and type, because type well, a support, a support vector machine can either be used for classification or for regression. We are using for regression because we are predicting a continuous value rather than a categorical one. 
So we are going to use a regression and we are going to use this most common one here, which is the default. So we for type is oh okay so yeah because there's no way to have a default so this is the most common one I think I have to pass like this as a string fourth parameter kernel and that's also important um, and for kernel we are going to use well just a second it is windy here today so I had to close my window so for kernel we are going to use this one which is the Gaussian one is it Gaussian or Gaussian? well we are going to use this one but we could exp explore using different uh, kernels and to use this kernel I thought that I had to input a uh, radial basis, but turns out that you have just to input radial. So let's check if it's working. It is. We created our specter vector regressor. Now we can predict a value, the 6.5 value. So let's do predict. And to predict a value, we can only call it yprad, and we call predict. We pass our our regressor and the data, which in this case is going to be. A create a data frame because that's the format that it requires and the value that we want to predict is 6.5 yeah I think that's the way oh uh, we have to name our column our data frame column which is level is it like like this no my cheat sheet says like this. Let's try executing it. Okay. So we have predicted the 6.5 level. Let's check how much this guy should be making. Around $177,000. Okay. Now we can also plot it. Predict a value plotting the graph and to plot we are going to use ggplot oh, we, it's a library so we have to import it library ggplot um, ggplot2 um, and then we need to call gg plot not sure no 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 gg no. plot i think it is yeah gg plot plus then we pass our our scatter plot which is called geom something oh so many i think it's point and the parameters are oh that isothetic object which receives x and y and x in this case is it's the data set level column and y is the data set salary column and let's set a color to be red next parameter do like this gm I forgot this one so I think isn't it plot I think it's plot ba -ba -bam. it 
we have plot? I have to check my cheat sheet. Oh, it's called line. Okay, aesthetic object as well, and here the same, the same x, but a predicted y, because this is going to be our function or our regression line. And to predict the value, we already did it here. We are going to do it again down down here. It's going to be predict. We're going to pass our regression again, but now the new data is going to be the whole data set because we are p predicting based on the whole data set which is called data set. Let's also set a color color equals blue. Let's uh, set a title. Is it digitidal? Yes. Uh, it's going to be called salary versus level of a support vector regression model. Plus gg x label, no label x. I need to look at my cheat sheet. Uh, it's just x label. Okay, x lab, and the x lab is level, and the y label is salary. Okay, I think we have everything already. It's, uh, it was supposed to be quite simple. And there we go, so we should get a plot. Yeah, this is our plot. It's quite similar to the one that we had with Python. Quite similar. And for example, this this sample here is predicted quite accurately, but the other ones not so much. And this one, not at all. Uh, apparently, uh, support, support vector machines are yeah, I think it's support vector machines, including the classifier. They identify the outlier and they kind of discard it. So this line is not even considering this um, outlier here, which is the CEO, by the way, which is the guy that receives $1 million. Apparently he's considered an outlier by this model. And if we were to predict the CEO level, we would predict about, I don't know, f uh, $550,000, and he actually receives $1 million, which is quite an, an accurate um, prediction. Yeah, I think that's all. And the interesting thing to note here is that, compared to Python, we didn't have to do feature scaling. And that's quite quite good and uh, but uh, i think we have a limited number of kernels to choose from well yeah i think python had more options what else yeah i think overall it's quite quite the same thing um if we don't consider feature scaling feature scaling is the most different aspect between R and Python implementation of the same model. Okay, bye-bye.